What is going on, real people? Welcome back to the channel yet again. It's another week and we're doing some more bait reviews for deer hunting this year. Uh, what we got this time is some Pile Driver by Wild Game Innovations right there. This stuff was actually all on sale, so it's gonna be kind of like a bargain discount. And then we got some Deer Cane Black Magic this time. This is the Black Magic, not the regular Deer Cane like we had last time. This is the Powdered Mix. So we're here at our first spot like we always start the video right here next to the, uh, the feeder. And I'm actually putting the game camera on the feeder this time. But instead of doing the deer cane up there like we did in the last video, we're gonna put the deer cane down here in this spot just to see if we can bring all those deer the deer cane attract down here. So the first one we got up is the deer cane black magic. I think this one was actually the most expensive one. This is actually $7.98, originally 10 or 11 bucks. So we got this on sale. And the pile driver was actually $5. 98 if you can believe it they actually had stuff on sale right before deer season opened up here in east texas which i thought was crazy so the pie driver you know as i said was 598 and it was a five pound bag uh, it's got 18 percent uh, protein eight percent fat it's got intense aroma high protein and fat attracts from long distance great supplements so it's a lot like the crushed apple and the crushed radish wild game innovation that i did last time so this stuff is going to be really smelly and it's going to have a lot of really good stuff for the deer and it's going to be great but this is going to be our first one to dump out right here this is the black magic from deer cane let's go ahead and open this bad boy up all right, wow, okay, first off, <clears throat> this smells way stronger than the white deer cane. Oh my gosh, and it's it's black, yeah. I don't know if y'all can see in there. Yeah, that is the black powder, and it smells like, it's so sweet, it smells like crushed berries and vanilla almost. Oh, it smells so good, wow. Oh yeah, complete opposite from the white deer cane. So here's what we're gonna do. I got my deer cane right here, the Black Magic. This is the Wild Game Innovations camera. It's gonna be facing right here, kind of going up towards the clearing a little bit, a little bit better angle. So let me move y'all out of the way real quick. Move y'all over here so y'all can still see. Okay, right about there. All right. Let me point y'all down so y'all can see what I'm doing here. All right. So the game camera is looking down here, looking up the clearing right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread out this deer cane stuff all in this area, make a huge circle with it. Just get crazy. This stuff smells so strong. It's gonna attract every deer for at least a couple miles. Woo! It's tense. It smells. So strong. I'm not even lying about that. The smell is so intense. It is insane. Now, I just had a subscriber today say something about the <coughs> about the other deer cane. Sorry, I'm talking while I'm doing this, and the I guess the vapors or the powder from this stuff is just getting up in there, and it just tastes like so many crushed berries. All right, so we have put out the deer cane black magic all right here. Y'all can really see that very well. That just sticks out like a sore thumb. Can y'all still see the smoke from it? It's just moving away. <laughs> that stuff smells so freaking strong. Like I said, this is gonna attract every deer and hog for within miles. That stuff is so potent. Was not expecting that. Definitely got a good feeling about that. Okay, so next up, is the wild game innovation pile driver i'm gonna go up the clearing so i'll be back in just a second and we're gonna dump this out and we're gonna see what this stuff smells like and see if it's even close or comparable to the black magic which i really doubt it is all it is is whole grains and deer love grains so we'll see all right so we're up here at the next spot up here at the clearing 
the white deer cane is absolutely gone. I know y'all can't see the sun decided to peek out pretty hard, but it was right there. Well, yeah, it was it was over there. But it's completely all gone now. That giant pile of white powder is completely uh, disappeared. We did have some rain, so it probably washed away. So that's probably what happened. But next up is this bait right here. The Wild Game Innovations pile driver which all it is it's just based out of different oats and stuff intense aroma crushed and blended with real whole grain oats uh power wagon innovations uh, airborne technology sends out 600 percent more scent molecules and ordinary feeds and grains for unparalleled attractant p power so we'll see it says you know it's supposed to have that power and so yeah wild game innovation stuff's got some really really cool stuff a whole bunch of bait and stuff so let's give this thing the initial smell test Ooh, sweet and oaky that is exactly what that smells like sweet and oaky Ooh, that smells good i like that okay and look it looks just like sawdust nothing too fancy but it really does smell good like they said very strong aroma so i'm gonna bend y'all down over here i mean point y'all down my apologies <laughs> and uh, we're gonna come over here where we've been putting down at so we're gonna put the bait about right right about here we back a little more we're gonna spread it out all right here actually you know what I'm just gonna put it in a giant pile put a pile right here big giant pile Okay. So let me take y'all over here real quick. All right, so as y'all just saw, I just poured all of it into a big old pile. I could have spread it out all right here where I've been doing, but I was like, you know what? We're just putting a big old pile. So there she lay. There's our pile of Wild Game Innovation, Innovations pile driver. So we're gonna see how that does. Now that also smells really great. So we really got a competition between the clearance stuff and what smells the strongest and what is going to bring in the deer so what do y'all think is going to bring in the most deer or hogs it could just be how about let's just do the most animals whatever you think is going to bring in the most animals please drop it in the comments below because i really want to know but guys as always i'll see y'all back here in seven days well five to seven days if it just blows up i'll give it five days but if nothing shows up and it's slow we're, we're, we will do seven we'll do seven so i'll see y'all in seven days We'll sit down, we'll go over all the videos and the photos of all the animals that come up, and we'll see what happens, guys. I'm already going to say right now, I'm thinking that black magic down there is probably going to get more attention, even though up here is a better spot. But that black magic just smells so good. Like I said, strong, strong crushed berry scent. Very good scent. Very good price. Can't beat it. All right, I'm going to shut up. I'm rambling. I'll see you all in seven days. y'all so it's been seven days it's now sunday again and we're about to go over the videos and the photos that we have we're going to start with the video down there next to the deer feeder that had the uh deer came black magic on it so let's start looking at those videos right here and first clip it is an armadillo <laughs> armadillo okay what else possum got a possum Not sure what that was. It looked like kind of a raccoon running past the screen there. Not quite sure. That was weird. Got another raccoon. Okay. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. These didn't really get a whole lot of photos and videos for some reason. Okay, got day daytime. Got some crows. Yeah. It's weird. It's uh, We just hit October today. Oh, there's a big hog. We just hit October today, and for some reason, the deer activity has kind of slowed down a little bit. It's kind of weird. Big, big hog. Been seeing him a lot lately. He's just staying around. It's a big one. That's probably about 150, 200 pound hog. Just hanging around. And that's at 848, so he just runs back right back in there. Definitely need to take out some of the hog population probably after deer season because they're they're just getting bad again. 
All right, so like I said, not a whole lot of videos for some reason down there, which is very, very strange. Uh, so not a whole lot on the black magic. That's all I had, unfortunately. So now let's switch over and go up the hill to where the uh, the uh, wild game innovations, uh, the grain stuff was. Now up there we had a lot more action, a lot more photos and stuff. So let's go ahead and start doing those. First one we got here is a uh, hog. Another photo of a hog. Yeah, same one, same big, big black boar. Just been hanging around a lot, just on it. Good Lord. Still eating. Still eating. <laughs> yeah, he just stayed around for a while. Let's skip ahead a little bit and then here he is again. Oh, we got a coyote. I haven't seen a coyote in a little while. It looks like it's another pig back there. Oh, big sow. Oh yeah, it's the white and black spot one. Yeah. Hanging around. Just going at it, eating the crap out of that green stuff. I gotta tell you what, that wild game innovation stuff works pretty well. I mean, I'm not gonna guarantee you're gonna attract some deer, but you're definitely gonna attract something with that stuff. All right, so that's all the photos we got. Like I said, not a whole bunch of activity here recently, which is very, very strange. Now, on the same property, my buddy Trees is gonna be hunting with me this year, and I wanna show y'all what he caught down at the creek. Right here, take a look at this. I'm gonna go ahead and blow it up for y'all so y'all can see a little bit better. Because this is a pretty big deer. All right, there we go, zoomed in. Look at that, guys, look at that. So this is my buddy Therese's camera on his muddy camera. This is down at the creek and he caught this. Now, this is the picture of my other buck that I got at the clearing. Now, I, for a little bit, we thought these were two different deer because, I mean, they kind of look a little bit different when you look at them from different angles. But I had my really good buddy Aaron go over and look at the pictures, and he's telling me that these deer are the exact same. And we're thinking he's Bushwhacker from last year, that deer that I was hunting after that completely disappeared after opening day of rifle season. I mean, never showed up on my camera again. So we have this deer who looks a little bit different, a little bit, you know, bigger, thicker, more filled out. And we're really thinking this might be Bushwhacker from last year. The deer that just vanished has now finally returned. So now I have redemption time this year trying to get this deer. So that kind of makes it personal for me. But on the other hand of getting everything set up for deer season this year, I got my ground blind set up at the clearing again. I went ahead and bought a tree stand this year, a 15 foot tree stand. And I got that a little bit down from the creek, kind of going towards the clearing a little bit on a good trail. So I have two trails where that deer stand will be. So if Bushwhacker comes through going towards the clearing, I'm gonna have a good shot at him. And I'm also getting a crossbow this year. We're gonna try that out for a month and see how I like that. I have never hunted with a crossbow or a bow. Uh, never really was too big of a fan of it, but here uh, lately everyone's been telling me, you know, get a crossbow, get a bow, get something. You got to go for bow season, get a whole month head start. So we're going to do that this year. I got a bow, crossbow coming in. It should be here, I think Wednesday. So next weekend, we're going to try that out and see how that goes up there in the stand. But really hope I can get this buck because that would just be freaking, freaking amazing because he is huge. He's a big buck. It would be my biggest buck. It will be 100%. But enough of me rambling, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this bait review. I really hope you take something on this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. I usually try to answer to everyone who asks a question or anything like that. Or if you have any uh, tips or tricks or any uh, deer attractant baits you want me to try that have in my area, please let me know. If I get my hands on them, I will definitely test them out for y'all. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the, the video. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Relaxing channel so you get notified and see more awesome deer attractant videos just like this, guys. I love y'all. Y'all keep it real. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.